Hey, hey, Doc Robin here. Welcome to the Actualization Zone on Facebook. I am your host. It is December 12th, 2022. Holy smokes. We are headed straight on to 2023 in the next couple of weeks. So this, these sessions that are coming up are going to be a little bit of perspective and wrap-up sessions for the year. And in a minute, as we always do on a day like today, I, I come in and I do the weather report. And of course, I don't talk about the actual physical weather. I talk about the non-physical influences. I tune into my guides um, and my divine helpers and they offer suggestions, advice, recommendations for how we can leverage the energy that is available to us and how we can create the world that we most want to live in. So welcome. If you are here with me live, say hello in the comments and post your first name as well. I don't always, I can't always see the names because I'm broadcasting from a different platform into the Facebook group. And if you are watching the replay, let me know that too, so I can come back in and say hi back to you. So before we get started, what's the announcement that I have? The announcement that I have is I'm still doing the Akashic Records forecasting sessions for business and for career. Good morning, Corey. It's nice to see you here. We're doing the forecasting sessions for business and career this month and into next month too. I'm already booking into January and January is still a perfect time to do forecasting for the, the year to come. Um, in fact, that's what I wanted to share with you. I was guided yesterday to go into my own Akashic Records and work with my business to discover what my business wants out of this next year. And I want to share this with you because, it, it, yes, this is the weather report and these are the this is what's influencing how I'm thinking right now. And perhaps you can use some of this in your career and your business as well. So... Um, Yesterday, I went into my records. I worked with my business. I actually channeled my business for a while as I did this work. And a couple of things came forward that I thought were really interesting that I wanted to share with you today. One is that the business, and this is typical for spiritual entrepreneurs, leaders, and CEOs who are fully expressing themselves through their businesses, or that's the, the intention anyway. The business's intention, the business is here to assist you in actualizing your greatest hopes, dreams, and desires. The business is here to support your actualization journey, actually. And that was one of the things that came through so very clearly yesterday for me personally, but this is also in the collective as well for spiritual entrepreneurs. If we are really truly going to create a new world, and if we are really going to recalibrate our relationship with work, time, and money, we have to we have to have a different understanding of what business is here for. In the past, in the past timelines, in the past of how we've done business, I think a lot of us still, even today, think of business as it's a vehicle for making money. Um, it's an entity for making money. It's, Of course, it's an entity for being of service. And that's the old way of, of thinking about things. But yesterday's reading that I did for myself was really about the collaboration with the energetics of the business to bring about transformation, not just for my, my clients and my students, but for myself as well. The business is meant to be in partnership. The business is meant to be in partnership with you. And I really believe it's my experience that the business has a consciousness that you can have access to, especially working in the Akashic Records. And this is one of the reasons that I do these forecasting sessions for spiritual entrepreneurs, leaders, and CEOs, because I think that there's so much richness that comes forward when you're actually collaborating with the consciousness of the business, rather than thinking of it as kind of a 2D object, um, something that is, that you're beholden to or in, even enslaved to in some ways. I think that we can get into that kind of mode with our businesses as well. So um, let me see, what else do that you want me to say? about that reading yesterday. Oh, so bottom line for my reading yesterday that I did, and this is what I wanted to talk with you today about in the weather report as well, is that the shift that we can make individually and collectively is around expectations. 
So if you want to recreate what you've already created, if you want to live in the status quo, stay on the gerbil wheel, keep doing what you've always done, keep expecting what you've always expected. So I just bought a, a beanie, a winter beanie to wear from Spiritual Gangster, and it reads Eternal Optimist. And I am an eternal optimist. And it is a genuine thing for me to always look at the bright side, to, to have positive expectations. However, life has been challenging, hasn't it? And there's always there always seem to be bumps in the roads, and there's always things that come up that can kind of spit, um, take you out of your game. We'll just say that. And so when you get bogged down by life, by the the day-to-day -day mundane, it becomes pretty easy to kind of slip into the expectation that I'm just going to get more of the same. And in fact, I think one of the mind games that we play with ourselves is if I, if I just expect what I've always gotten, I won't be disappointed if what I really truly desire doesn't come through. And yet, and yet, the positive expectations, and I don't just mean like a toxic positivity and not looking at the experiences of your emotions, of your, of your daily life. Of course, that's, that's not what I mean at all. But it just means that we do need to turn our attention toward looking for the best of what is possible and expecting the best and reporting on the best, celebrating the best when it shows up. Expect something good to happen in your business. Expect something good to happen in your career expect it rather than looking at it and say, well, I'm going to cross my fingers and hope that something good happens or, and, but I keep on doing the same thing that I've always done. Or if I'm depressed, anxious, burned out, something like that, it can be very easy to just get in that rote gerbil wheel effect of expecting the same thing day after day after day. Nothing's going to change in that way. Here's the thing. When you're on the ascended timeline, when you are on the path of self-actualization, self you have a responsibility to understand that you're the co-creator of your experiences. So even the guides are meant to be supportive of you. Even the guides are meant to be making recommendations, guiding, surprising you, things like that. But they're not going to tell you what to do. You're the driver. You're the conductor. You're the one who gets to decide the direction that you're taking your ship. And so rather than waiting around for somebody else to change your life for you, to change your business for you, it is really time to lean into creating the future that you most want to experience and taking responsibility for that. One of the ways that we do that in the Akashic forecasting sessions is we really look at what's the relationship between you and your business and what, is, what are the things that need to be healed or transformed in order for you to bring out the best in each other rather than the worst, because that can sometimes happen too in our businesses and our careers. We have kind of this love-hate relationship going on with our, with our businesses. And that's never a good place to be. It's like being in a relationship with any person when you've got a push-pull love-hate relationship with another person. It can create a lot of distress in your life and certainly can compress the brakes on creating what you really desire in your life. So we have to take a look at that in the Akashic Records forecasting sessions. But even if you're not choosing to move forward with something like that with me, really being able to set the tone for expecting, expecting positive outcomes, looking for evidence that the positive outcomes are speeding their way toward you and embodying that frequency of positive expectations as well, looking for the very best looking for the very best in yourself and other people. You know, how you perceive the world really depends on your perspective. And that was one of the, the major lessons from this reading I did yesterday for my, for my own business was number one thing is perspective. It's here to offer a different perspective. It's here to offer a different perspective. It's here to bring abundance to my life and to the lives of the people who interact with it. Isn't that a fun thing to know about my business? It sure, sure was for me. And it makes it so much easier for me to create positive expectations for myself 
when I understand what my business is here for as well. So that's the, that's the weather report for today. Positive expectations. Expect the best. Expect something good to happen today. Tune in to the and better timeline rather than the same, same timeline or the worst case scenario timeline. There are myriad timelines out there that you can stand on, that you can walk on, that you can dance on, that you can live on. And the one you choose is really up to you. And then you have to, of course, take the responsibility to manage your own frequency so that you are able to stay on that timeline. And of course, that's where the guides come in. And of course, that's where the energetics come in to support you. All right. It doesn't have to be walking like walking a tight wire. It can be like walking a big, wide, beautiful yellow brick road path to the best possible future for you. Okay. So that's it for today. If you would like to sign up for one of the Akashic Records forecasting sessions, I want you to DM me. I always screen to make sure that I can support the people who are asking for them. I don't work with people who I know I can't support. So DM me, let me know that you're interested in one of those. And I'll ask you a few questions. If I feel like I can help you, I will send you your special link to be able to sign up for that. And I will see you in the Facebook group tomorrow.